Good evening. First of all, um, I'd like to just introduce myself briefly. I'm Dr. Mark Holtzman. I'm the superintendent of schools here at the McKeesport Area School District. And uh, I'd like to apologize for the way things uh, occurred this, this uh, evening. Uh, didn't realize that the line had backed all the way up, and uh, we need to maybe think about that a little bit better. But needless to say, I did my best to set up another uh, walkthrough. Uh, unfortunately, today, in today's day and age, and in society and communities today, uh, security is our number one priority before we do anything else. And I hope that everybody here understands how seriously we do take that. Um, Uh, it's really unfortunate that we have to live in, the, in that way, but uh, I will say it's been almost 18 years here at the high school that we've had uh, walk-through metal detectors and wanders and security here. So many of the other school districts are a little bit behind us. So we're very proud that, that we're able to keep every child and every person coming in this building safe. Uh, but let me begin uh, quickly by just welcoming everybody to the McKeesport Area High School. Uh, this place is near and dear to my heart. I spent many years as the high school principal here, and, and I just want to welcome all the parents, guardians, family members, friends. Uh, please, uh, please ignore me acting as a millennial and looking on my phone for notes because uh, I didn't use paper and pencil. Uh, but needless to say, I want everybody to just take a second uh, and understand that the line outside was down almost to the swimming pool, and I, many of you at the end don't find that very funny or interesting, but I find it amazing uh, that that's the definition of excellence. If you look around this room at the support for the children that are here and the young adults that are here, that's excellent. So. You know, this is what a great, a great school environment looks like, and this is what a great school district has to offer children, and I'm very happy that everybody was able to make it this evening. Uh, the last eight months have been very humbling for me. I was appointed superintendent in July, and I have a lot to learn. But I'll tell you one thing, uh, it doesn't come with a, never a dull moment. Uh, I spend a lot of time around many of your children, some of which you probably didn't know, know me and are yelling my name. Uh, I spend a lot of time in their schools, I spend a lot of time interacting in their classroom, and I'm extremely proud of what we do here in the McKeesport Area School District. So I have the chance every day to come back to school. Sometimes it feels like a nightmare because I graduated from here and I never left. But needless to say, it's an exciting time for me to be able to come here as the leader of our school district. So I want to kind of just say, number one, it's humbling to have that opportunity. But number two, what's so amazing is our children and the talent that they have, as well as this music department and the effort that they give. They don't know the word can't. They don't ever come to me and say, Dr. Holtzman, we just don't have enough money or we just don't have enough resources. They never complain and they give your children first class instruction. And you'll see this this evening as they offer it. So lastly, I would just like to once again thank you for your continued support, not only of our music department and, and the great leadership that they offer our children, but thank you to supporting the McKeesport Area School District. This evening's uh, event, once again, models excellence and greatness, and you will see that throughout the evening. I will challenge everybody in this audience, though, continue to push your children, your relatives to be great. Continue to provide them the leadership they need to have a great future. Too many times we are talk about millennials and the young people and everybody has a device in their hand and they ain't really listening to all the adults. They're not listening to our experiences. But are we giving them the leadership they need to be great? Are we giving them the opportunities? Are we leading them? Are we pushing them? And sometimes it's easier to let them get entrenched in this. But I'm gonna fight back a little bit and challenge all of you as you're here tonight to support all those children that continue to fight and push ahead, because every single day I'll do it as the rest of the, all the staff members of the McKeesport Area School District. So thanks again for being here. Enjoy the show.
the music department, this event this evening is a national event um, that all music departments in all school districts across the country celebrate in March, Music in Our Schools Month. It's promoted and organized by the National Association for Music Education. It's an organization based out of Virginia that promotes music education all across America. So this event is stemmed from that national organization of celebrating all music, kindergarten through 12th grade, in American schools. So that's why we celebrate March and that's why we do this for our students to congratulate their efforts and to ultimately celebrate music education. This third song, this third song that we're gonna do is for uh, the returning students, some fifth graders and some fourth graders who've worked really, really hard. It's called Big Rock Candy Mountain. So you'll notice that there are some students just putting their laps, their, their instruments on their laps, and that's okay. Uh, most likely they just started and it's a little more challenging for them. But I wanted to give the older kids a little bit of more challenge. So this is Big Rock Candy Mountain. This next song I think is by far their favorite. It's one of my favorites too. Um, I think if you've been in the elementary band programs, this has been passed on and we play it maybe every two or three years. It's called ISDK and the kids always ask me, what does it mean? And the answer is I seriously don't know. So here we go, <laughs> ISDK.
I'd like to give every section a, um, a, stand of, a standing uh, a round of applause. So percussion, please take a bow. Thank you for your first concert or your second one ever. Low brass, that's the trombones and the baritone. Please stand up, trombones and baritones. Thank you. And the trumpets next, please stand up. Good job. And the saxophones, stand up. Good job. And the clarinets, good job. Stand up, clarinets. And the flutes, stand up, please. We are going to continue tonight with our program. Um, we have up here our fourth and fifth grade orchestra students. Um, we have a few pieces here for you. I'm going to talk a little bit about this group and some of the songs, and then you're going to hear some of these students share some fun facts with you about the music we're playing and also about this month, which is Music in Our Schools Month, which is why we're here celebrating today. Um, the first piece we have for you is just a warm-up, which shows you all of the notes that we know so far. Um, my favorite part of this um, concert is that you get to see all of our programs from the fourth and fifth grade all the way up through the twelfth grade um, students, some of which are graduating and going on in music. So it's really, really cool to see um, that progression here tonight. So thank you for being here. Um, we're going to continue with our program, and we'll see you later. to hear the fourth and fifth grade orchestra from Francis McClure and Twin Rivers. In the month of March, we celebrate music in our, month, in our school's month. This year, the theme is Music Connects Us. The first piece we will play for you is Seminole Chant. This piece is played pizzicato, which means you hear us plugging our instruments. Oh. 
Marnie. Our next piece was composed by the one and only Beethoven. Beethoven wrote many masterpieces despite being deaf for most of his life. His compositions changed the course of music history and his work still echoes today in concert halls and pop culture. We hope you enjoy this small group performing one of music's most recognizable melodies, Ode to Joy. The last song we will 
play tonight is called Tribal Lament. The piece features all of our fourth and fifth grade orchestra musicians. We hope you enjoy the fourth and fifth grade performances tonight. Thank you to our parents, teachers, and administration for your support. Happy music in our school's month. And remember, music connects us.
We have up here our high school orchestra and our middle school orchestra. We have a lot of students up here on stage. Um, we're going to play one high school only piece, and then um, Mr. Kikuchi is going to conduct all of the students, 6th through 12th grade, for a final orchestra piece tonight. Um, after that, you're going to hear a little bit more choir, and then we're going to get all of the students on stage um, for one big finale. So thank you again. Great. Ready?
children are without hope, they are robbed of one of the most defining parts of their childhood. We must never underestimate the power of giving hope to a child. The whispers of my heart speak so softly. Are they really there if no one hears them? My voice is so small and so soft. Can you hear me? Give us hope and we'll show you the way. grind of math and English and science and social studies gets a little tiring after a while, right? And they come to us for their um, release. And um, we have a lot of fun. And this is our final piece, Radioactive. And it is with all of the band, the choir, the orchestra, 6th through 12th grade. So enjoy. Thank you all. Okay, guys, here we go. That's fun. Yeah. 